Howdy, how y'all doing? This is George Phyllis Randburn. I'm hoping you have a great day. As you notice, I'm at the Renaissance Fair here in Utah. And if you're interested in seeing some of this stuff, come join me, maybe, if I can get out of here. At this fair, there is live entertainment all day long, such as within this pavilion. Dancers and music, such as the music from Scotland by the fire. The Utah Renaissance Fair was established in 2011 and is part of the Utah Valley Fine Art Council. This fun-filled activity was held at Thanksgiving Point in Lehigh, Utah. Both the Utah Valley Fine Art Council and nonprofit organizations strive to create a family friendly experiences with art and history, as well as support the local artisans and entertainers. This Utah Renaissance Fair focuses on entertainment as we're listening here, and hands on experience we'll see, and education for all ages. They want participants to step back into another time another experience of life, a different culture, history, and even maybe some chivalry. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate life for me. Hi, ah, kids. Breach, a nonprofit organization, has set up an area for kids to play on things like a pirate ship, ride mechanical horses, and even shoot a trebuchet. All right, so what I got here are a bunch of catapults. A catapult is anything that shoots a projectile without using explosives. So technically when you throw a ball, your arm's a catapult. This one here is a ballista. It's modeled after a Roman scorpion, uh, which was actually 25% bigger than this one here. And they'd run around the battlefield in two-man teams looking for dudes in heavy armor and just take them out. This one here is a trebuchet, French for throwing arm, because it's got a big long arm and it throws stuff. Cool, well yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, make sure to tag us on Reach. We're a nonprofit. We go to schools teaching history, literacy, art, and anti-bullying. Cool. Yeah. Anti-bullying? Anti-bullying. Oh, thank goodness, because that's anti-bullying. Yeah, no, we're against bullying. I love bullying, man. We hate those poor <laughs> pin abusers. <laughs> I just want to introduce you to Sir William Shakespeare. We were talking about namesake, George being a normal name, but noble, certainly noble. William has had two kings named after him, but not Will. Not Will, no. <laughs> I was actually only knighted last year. Before that, I was not Sir William or anything. But last year, last year someone, someone came and we wrote a sonnet together, which is what we do when we write sonnets together. Very nice. And, and uh, she went and gave it to the Queen, and the Queen liked it so much that she knighted it. Oh, very nice. And which Queen was that? Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. I think she's having dinner over in, over in the... I was at Bryce King just saw Queen Victoria. The sculpture of Queen Victoria. Or at least the hoodie of Queen Victoria. None shall pass. It's only a flesh wound. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. But what's that, then? I've heard worse. You liar! Come on, you pansy! You fight with the strength of many men, Sir Knight. Bravely bold Sir Robin rode forth from Camelot. He was not afraid to die, oh brave Sir Robin. He was not at all afraid to be killed in nasty ways. Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin. He was not in the least but scared to be mashed into a pond. Or to have his eyes gouged out and his elbows broken. To have his knee cut smooth. Over there in the 
in the corner. That's enough music for today, lads. There are a few different things here. Catapult. Traction trebuchet. A trebuchet right here. And over there, certainly we have a ballista. I swear. Should be good. We'll give a countdown. You guys ready? We'll give him a countdown. Three. Three. Two. two. Alright All right, everybody, you ready for a better launch? Yeah. Yeah. Five, three, three, two, two one! Woo. Thank you! Awesome, wham, well, dead patron. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna give you this one because it's real hard. Catapulta, or catapult. Catapulta is two pierce shields in Greek. A peltis is a shield, and kata is the Greek verb to throw. So that machine literally means the flying thing that goes through that guy's shield. Danny, when you're ready, give it a call. All right, everybody ready? Three, Woo! All right. Three, two, one. Oh. That's cool, right? There's a key. So we saw them rolling the dough up, cooking it. Transylvania treat. Here we go. Oh, I get to dip it. Oh my gosh. That's where it goes. Yes, mm. yes, I mean, I can't bring that It's a good morning snack. Good pastry. Yeah. We're sitting here at the Maypole, right here. Why do they call it Maypole? I don't know. Maybe they'll tell us. But more important, this must be an August pole because certainly we're in the middle of August. Dancing around the Maypole is a tradition on May Day. It is believed to have started in Rome, Britain around 2,000 years ago when soldiers celebrate the arrival of spring by dancing around a decorated tree, thanking their goddess Flora. Why Fauna? I'm Fauna. I'm Flora. I'm flattered. These days, dancers wave ribbons around the pole rather than a tree. This maypole dancing is an activity that brings communities together, like we see here. Traditionally, the dancers position themselves in pairs before they begin their routine. The dance creates a multicolored pattern which creeps steadily down the pole. The dancers then reverse these steps and undo the ribbon. This is said to represent the lengthening of the days as summer approaches. There's fairies all about. Let's marvel as this bubble fairy magically entertains us with her mysterious and mischievous manner with bubbles all abound. Getting ready to watch some jousting. And that should be fun. Jousting is a martial game or hastalude. The word hastalude is a Latin derivative of hastaludium, which literally means lance game. This activity is between two horse riders welding a lance with blunt tips. Often as part of a tournament, the primary aim was to replicate a clash of heavy cavalry, with each participant trying to strike the opponent while riding towards him at high speed, breaking the lance on the opponent's shield or jousting armor, or unhorsing the other competitor. Let's enjoy this competition and see what happens. Oh. Six points each. Both knights have received at the ready. Come about. Josh! Next 
six points each. Head up. Wait a minute. And here. TCJ LLC, we do Dragon Land. We have our wood, our cutting, and our metal. This dragon here is a five foot long dragon. Took six and a half days to print. Oh, oh my wow. Smile. Yes. <laughs> With a small donation, I got a chance to get a picture and pet an owl. What a hoot! Hoot hoot! I think they're going to do some fire breathing. Let's see. They bring out a dragon. Open Sky ended up the festivities with a spectacular nighttime aerial drone show. This fair, with all of its cosplay, was well worth our time. An annual must do. Let's end up with a night slaying Utah. This has been a wonderful day, and I want to appreciate each one of you for joining us here at the Renaissance Fair. And if you subscribe, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I think I hit 300. Wow. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification bell. Give me two thumbs up, because this is George, the Fitness Rambler. Want to whack somebody's head off? Signing off.